what is up my fellow youtubers today what i have for you is my retro lizard 4k mega lizard pedestal what makes this a mega lizard pedestal from what you can see right so i know it's a i know it's a low angle um i have the camera back here in this low so that you guys can see the deck um and the deck is you know about two feet wide from front to back right so, and then we're playing here on a 32 inch 4K Samsung monitor, all right? And then this deck is about two feet. So we're about four to five feet back from the TV right now, unfortunately. So that's why the distance is the way that it is in this video. Um, unfortunately, I can't do anything more about the distance. If we go a little bit closer, all we're gonna see is just the TV, really. We're not gonna go over any gameplay really too much in this video, um, but I am gonna go through the system and I'm going to explain what this is and explain what the 4K Mega Lizard is. The 4K Mega Lizard um, pedestal is a four-player pedestal arcade. It comes with a four-way arcade stick, GRS spinner, Ultramark flight stick, two Xbox One controllers wired for significant play, and then underneath the deck, mounted to holsters, are two gun for IR gun cons with um uh, i don't think that these have rumble in them anymore um but those mount directly under the deck the controllers will mount on the back of the arcade for easy grab okay so that's what you get with this all that plus you got your four player layout this one specifically got the um, eclipse buttons to go with the theme normally it wouldn't get the eclipse buttons but this is a resident evil theme that we went with and i wanted it really to pop and i really wanted it to look as evil as i possibly could get it to look and i think the eclipse buttons really brought out uh that feature on this cat on this on this pedestal so that's what part of it what makes it a mega so it comes with all those accessories it's all pre-configured for you to play it has a trackball inside it too obviously but this is all pre-configured for you to play for plug and play once it arrives at the customer's location um the pc inside it it is a 4k running pc this is a ryzen brand new all right i have to stress that factor i'm not using dell optiplexes in this build i don't even use dell optiplexes anymore except for my guitar hero build because that doesn't take a lot to run those. Um, this is running a brand new Ryzen 5 6 core PC, 16 gigabytes of RAM that is upgradable to 128 gigabytes if preference. And then the graphic card inside it, this one is running a 1080 Ti FTW Founders Edition. So it's running a really good 4K graphic card inside it. If it's not a 1080 Ti that goes inside it, it is a 3060. If I can get a better deal on a higher graphic card, like a 3070, which I have in the past on my other 4K arcades, I will get the better deal on the 3070. But right now, the best deal and the best price that I can get, and I pay full prices just like everybody else does, I don't get any discounts from any of these companies, is the 3060 and the 1080. If whichever one of those has the better price at the time of purchase, that is what I get. I do look to see if I can get a 3070 for a good price too. That's what it gets. There is a 750 watt power supply inside this. And if needed, again, you can upgrade the graphic card down the road to a 3070 or I believe even a 3080. That's about as high as you can go. If you need or want to upgrade the power supply, very easy to do. Pick up a new power supply and swap it out you know it's, it's very easy to to do it on the inside there's no pc case on the inside it's mounted it's just mounted to the inside um and then obviously it's protected and there's no wires going to it but the computer on the inside is just mounted directly to the wood and so is the power supply and then the graphic card too so the other part that makes this a mega is the size of the build uh this is a 20 terabyte hard drive only with games on it the main SSD drive is a 256 SSD um, that's on this one. And the main, the gaming drive is 20 terabytes split into three drives. And it has just about 16,500 games on it. 
And we have everything from standard arcade. We're going to move forward a little bit now. And we can raise up a little bit. <clears throat> Make sure that my mount isn't going to fall here. I got a broken leg on it. All right, we're going to go here like this. There we go. <clears throat> so, game systems on here. We have Arcade, Capcom Classics 1, 2, and 3, Data East Classics, Fighting Only Category, a Flying Only Category, which works with the Flight Stick. Every single flying game on this system works with the Flight Stick. We have Namco Classics, Running Gun. <coughs> Sports category, Tato Classics, Williams Classics. Then we have the Assassin's Creed category. This has five Assassin's Creed games inside it. We have Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3, the remastered version, Black Flag, and Valhalla. These are all the PC versions, okay? These are not the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3 versions. These are the PC versions that are on here. We have the 2600, the 7800, the Atari Jaguar, the Lynx. The Batman collection is here, but I think I'm going to take it out. I only have two Batman games in here. We have Gotham Knights, and then we have Arkham Origins in here. I don't have any of the other Arkham games. So I think I might remove the category and just leave these in the category that they're in, which is Windows games. Uh, we have the Vetrix. We have the Halo uh, section. The Halo section is consisting of Halo Wars, which is the Xbox 360 version. Uh, the original Halo game, which is the original Xbox version. The Master Chief Collection, which has Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, and Halo Wars inside it. Um, this is the PC version. We have Halo 2, which is also the original Xbox. Halo Infinite, which is the Windows version. And then we're back to Halo Wars. The Halo... <clears throat> why do I have the Master Chief Collection and why do I have um, Infinite under Windows if you can play it on the other systems? The PC versions run better than the console versions. The console versions do run okay, um, but the PC version definitely runs a hell of a lot better, and you can get a better upscale 4K image to it. So that's the that's the Halo collection. We do have the Light Gun collection here, uh, which has it's got a total of this says it has 66 games inside it, but there are definitely a lot more Light Gun games than that in this system. Um, this pretty much runs my regular. Uh, what do you call it? This runs my regular light gun system that I have on it. Uh, I believe that might be just the arcade only version. We have the Super Mario Brothers collection, which has 108 different Super Mario Brothers games. We have the Metal Slug collection, which has 17 Metal Slug games inside it. Then we have the original Xbox collection, which has 83 original Xbox games. We have the Xbox 360, which is the library. Um, this has a total of how many games? Just waiting for the bottom to switch out, and it's not, but it's right around a thousand games. Xbox Live Arcade uh, has about 16 games inside it. We have the Mortal Kombat collection, which has 54 Mortal Kombat games, <clears throat> and it goes up to Mortal Kombat 10. Mortal Kombat 11, I do have, but the problem is, is that it doesn't play or load correctly all the time, so I removed it from the system, and we just go up to 10. We have the PC Engine, CD ROM, PC Engine. Turbo Graphics, Turbo Graphics CD, Nintendo 64, uh, Nintendo 64 DD, Nintendo DS Collection, Nintendo Entertainment System, which is the NES, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Color, the Nintendo GameCube. That's the library. There's 620 GameCube games on here. We have the Nintendo. We have a Nintendo Switch section, which has 94 Nintendo Switch games. Virtual Boy, Nintendo Wii, and the Nintendo Wii. What I forgot to also mention is that this does come with the Dolphin Bar and two Nintendo Wii controllers that are that also come with this. So you can play the Wii games as, are, as you're supposed to. Uh, we have the Resident Evil collection, which has 32 Resident Evil games inside it over all the systems. We have the GameCube versions. We have the Sega Saturn versions. You can see we have Resident Evil Village, uh, which is the PC version. We've got the Umbrella Chronicles. Uh, we got the Dark Side Chronicles, we got Survivor, we got Revelations 2, Revelations, Raccoon City, the original Resident Evil Director's Cut for PlayStation 1, Dead Aim, Resident Evil Zero, Gaiden, uh, Resident Evil for the GameCube, um, Archives, which are two discs, Resident Evil 7, which is Biohazard, this is the Windows version. We have a couple versions of Resident Evil 6. We do have the Windows version, which plays a hell of a lot better than the PS3 version. We have Resident Evil 5, 
uh, which is also the PC version, runs great. Resident Evil 4 for Wii, we have a few Resident Evil 4s. We have the PS2 version, we have Nemesis, which is our three versions. We have GameCube, Dreamcast, and PlayStation. And then you have the remake of Resident Evil 3, which is also a Windows version. We got the Resident Evil 2 for PlayStation, which is a double disc. There's the other disc right there. Uh, Resident Evil 2 for GameCube. Resident Evil 2 for Windows, which is also the remake, also plays fantastically. I would prefer the Windows versions over the um, console versions, but the PlayStation regular versions play great. And so do the GameCube versions. Those play absolutely fabulous too. Of course, we have the Nintendo 64 version, Resident Evil 2 for PlayStation 1. Uh, back to GameCube then. So <clears throat> then we have Autonomous Wave, 32X, Sega CD, Dreamcast. These are these are all the libraries too. You know, 259 Sega CD games, 264 Dreamcast games, 249 Game Gear, Genesis is 696, Mega Drive Homebrew section, which is 182 homebrew games. Um, the Master System, 271, the Japanese Mega Drive, which we have 52 on there. We have Naomi. We have Sega Saturn, which is 303 games. The SG-1000, the Neo Geo. Uh, this is Neo Geo Arcade. We got the Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color. PlayStation 1 has 961 games inside it. PS2 has 623. <coughs> PS3 has 142 but when it comes to PS3 and Xbox 360, you got to keep in mind that those emulators are still being developed. Uh, games do crash on those. Some of them don't play fantastically, but they're awesome in here. You know, I apologize. There's no Snap video for PlayStation 3, but Big Box and Emmy Movies didn't provide one, so I can't. I don't have one. <clears throat> um, but they're still on here. The ones that play on here definitely play, or most of them do play. I haven't tested out all 142, but at one point I dropped this list down from the 1,000 that I had down to 142. Uh, we have PSP. At 396, we have Star Wars games. Um, there's 65 different Star Wars games inside here, including Trilogy and including Battle Pod. Um, we have Street Fighter Collection. Uh, it goes all the way up to Street Fighter 4, the arcade game, plus everything in between. Uh, we have the Super Nintendo Collection. We have the Techno Parrot Collection. Techno Parrot has 149 Techno Parrot games that are all individually um, configured. <clears throat> we have Windows. We have Wonder Swan, uh, Wonder Swan Color, and then we have the 3DO, and then we're back to arcade. But let's go to the Windows games because the Windows games have the most current games inside it. As you can see, we have 51 different. Uh, Windows games inside here and this does have my light gun window games inside here, but then we also have current games uh, That have come out um, This is killer instinct the HD version that plays with these all play with controllers too. these do not play with arcade sticks The light gun games will play with the light guns We have the PC version of Ocarina of Time that pumps out in full HD that we can get it up to 4k and it fucking looks amazing of course, we have the gun games, Mortal Kombat 10, like I, like I said, Red Dead Redemption 2. Then you got the Resident Evil games that I said that we have the PC versions of, which goes up to Village. We do have Jedi Fallen Order, which is, I mean, that's just an absolutely fantastic game. Street Fighter vs. Tekken, uh, a Ninja Turtle PC game, and then we have Shredder's Revenge. Again, you have to use controllers with all of these. Um, these are not working with arcade sticks, the way that I have it wired up. Tekken 7, you also need, unfortunately, you need a controller to play that one. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, The Witcher Wild Hunt, WWE 2K23, the Assassin's Creed games, I showed you that are in the category for Assassin's Creed, Batman Arkham Origins, which you've seen, we have Death Stranding, <clears throat> we have Elden Ring uh, inside here too, Forza 5, God of War, the one that came out for PS4, Gotham Knights, we have the Grand Theft Auto a Definitive Edition Collection with uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, San Andreas, and Vice City. We have Hades, I showed you Halo Infinite, we have Halo Master Chief Collection, and then we have Hogwarts Legacy, the Deluxe Edition inside here too. So, this window section alone is at least 2, two terabytes, maybe 3 terabytes big, um, and I do have it separated on the drive and that's why the drive is in three sections too. <clears throat> Originally, this was my 16 terabyte drive that I had divided up into two sections. 
one section being the majority of all the games except for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 go over to um, a separated drive, which is about 8 terabytes big. And then there's another 4 terabytes of open space, um, or at least 3 terabytes of open space, because I added about 1 terabyte of window games um, to this build, where you've seen Halo and the Resident Evils and things like that. Building a Resident Evil pedestal, I had to have every single Resident Evil game that ever came out. Had to. How could you have a Resident Evil pedestal that didn't, right? So, <clears throat> as you can see, it's in there, and this is, this is what the pedestal is. This is how it comes about. Um, the 4K gaming looks absolutely fantastic. Um, we can load up a couple games here. I'll show you the arcade games. Uh, there is no sound. You don't hear sound right now. Why don't you hear sound? Because the arcade I have it hooked up to, I don't have the sound bar hooked up yet inside this. And the pedestal will run off of your TV when you plug it in through HDMI. The Samsung monitor that I use does not have speakers on it. So therefore you can't, I don't have sound right now, unfortunately, to put out sound. But arcade games look fantastic. We'll go ahead and load up, load this up just for a little demonstration. <clears throat> so you can see what the, at least an arcade game looks like. I do have the scan lines on. If you're noticing, why does it have scan lines? I think they play better with the scan lines on. So it does have the scan lines. <laughs> do, 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 do. And here we go. As you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. You know, the 4K, uh, this is, you know, this is 4K upscale. The way that MAME works is that it automatically upscales to the resolution of the TV that you're running and the configuration that you have on your PC. So if you're running a 4K PC, MAME automatically sets it up and automatically runs you in 4K. Wow, I'm getting my ass kicked by these guys. There we go. And then when you want to exit, you just hit the exit button to exit out of the system. So, I mean, you guys know what 4K looks like. You know what 4K gaming looks like. Um, I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. The Nintendo 64 is one of my favorite systems to see in 4K. Uh, we do have two 64DD games inside here. This is Golf and the F-Zero version. Um, those are the only two 64DD games I was able to get running. Of course, I'm in here testing out games and everything else. So let's go to a Nintendo 64 game. <clears throat> what do I want to test out here? Um, let's go to California Speed. I love playing the racing games. All console games use a controller. Every single console game on here uses a controller. If it's a console game, you have to use a controller to play. If it's an arcade game, you use the arcade game or the arcade sticks to play. So that's how it's set up. That's how it works. The only arcade games that don't utilize the arcade sticks are the, um, what do you call it? Um, the Windows games. So those are the only ones that don't utilize the arcade sticks. So, and keep in mind too, when you're running, the way that controllers work, whichever one turns on first in the system here, that's how it ends up as player one. So if you go to grab the one on the left side, and it's not working just grab the left one or the right one and it'll work automatically so that just means that that one turned on first and that one's going to be player player one as you can see we're going back and forth auto manual buttons are working a is your gas on this and of course you know it looks absolutely fantastic so i think 4k gaming looks absolutely amazing for emulation um, upscaling this looks just, you know, it really clears out a lot of the scan lines and it really helps the systems out look more modernized on these 4K PCs. <clears throat> As you can see, the game runs just pretty much perfectly. Uh, there's no glitches, there's no pixelations. Um, it just, it looks extremely smooth and extremely fantastic and it, it's running extremely well. When you want to exit a game, just hit the exit button that's on the deck. And then it goes back into here. A little glitch sometimes on that. The controller will also run um, the systems here too. So you can use the controller to scroll through if that's what you're playing with. Or you can use the arcade sticks also to do that. <coughs> the main way to enter a game is the enter and exit button, which is on the deck. Um, the, the spinner has two buttons next to it, which 
turn this over here and see if I can show you guys if I can move this down. There we go. These two buttons right here, red is enter and white is exit. And then when your, your coin and your start buttons are up here, white is your coin button, red is your start button for all games. But these main two buttons right here are exit and enter. That's how we have it set up. Nice and easy peasy. So let's go to a, a Windows game so you can see a good HD. Where's the Windows games? I just flew right by it. Windows games. Why don't we go to Resident Evil 2, huh? <clears throat> and since this controller on the right was the first player controller, I'm assuming that this is going to be the controller that is first player on here. HDR because this is the first time that we're enabling the game so it's going to upscale it to 4k do not connect to the net because you know we're playing on a PC bam we'll go standard mode <clears throat> Like I said, unfortunately, I don't have sound hooked up to this because I don't have the sound bar hooked up to this PC either. But the PC that we're, we're putting inside this one, <clears throat> inside this two-player 32-inch uh, cab that we have, that is going to be another 4K. It's a 4K PC, so it's getting the exact same system that this one is getting too. Um, the difference is the, the customer sent me the light guns that they own. He owned the, I believe it's the Namco or the Super Jolt guns. Uh, for gun for IR, I will only use gun for IR on my PCs. Uh, I won't use any other light guns on my PCs um, for my arcades that I build simply because I don't want to deal with setting up the configuration for Sindon. <clears throat> and I think aim track is, uh, I think aim tracks are, they're outdated, they're old and they're shit. So I don't really want to use aim tracks anymore at all. And Sindon's I want to stay away from as much as possible unless using it on my retro light gun PC. But as you can see, can we skip this? We can't skip this. So this is going to run through this. Oh, there we go. Just trying to skip it. I just want to get to the gameplay um, so that you can see what this looks like <clears throat> with the guy on the screen. And there we go. We got Leon. There's a little bit of a glare from the sound. But otherwise, it looks absolutely fantastic. So, that's what 4K in gaming looks like, man. I believe there's a zombie in here once we get inside. <clears throat> there is. It's been a minute since I played this. There's the zombie. Or about to be. Nice and bloody. Love that. How terrifying is that, man? <laughs> crazy that it takes three bullets for them to die so there you go guys let's exit out of here this is a windows game so you will need to go to quit and you will need to quit um that's how windows games work you can't just hit the exit button and close out of the game you can hit escape and it doesn't work so you have to hit why do i get out of here that's start game nope 
All right, so then you go down to exit and quit the game. Every game is just slightly different. So you can't just hit the escape button and exit out of the game. You physically have to exit out of the game. That's just how that works. So there you go, guys. This is a good breakdown of the system and what it comes with and what's on it. Um, you've seen the preview of what the arcade looks like in the beginning of this video. Um, and this is 4K gaming. You know, and this is this is everything that it comes on it. And this is the most biggest and ultimate build that I can include with everything. Price range on this. Um, the customer that got this, I do want to advise, um, he did get a little bit of a discount because when he contacted me, he was looking for a pedestal and I did not offer the 4K pedestals yet um, at all. So there was no 4K gaming. I didn't have an ultimate option yet. We talked about it and I was talking about my system and what I had and we ended up coming up with the idea of the 4K uh, six, it was originally the 16 terabyte drive and then it turned into a 20 terabyte drive um, because I needed I wanted to make sure that if we were going to be building something this big that there would be extra room on this PC to add numerous games down the road as the customer wanted you can run if you have a Steam subscription or want to make a Steam subscription you can create a Steam subscription also with this PC and you can add your Steam games to this build. They will go under the Windows games because Steam games are Windows games. Um, and then you can continue to add up to three more terabytes of games. As new games come out throughout the year, like if you want to play, if you want to go on your Steam account and you want to play Jedi Survivor on this, you can play, you can download it from Steam, you can add it to this system. And you can play Jedi Survivor through the system. Or you can exit out of the system and play Jedi Survivor outside of the system if you want to on a regular Steam account. You can exit the front end. To exit the front end, you hit the escape button. And you get back to this big box menu here. And then you can go down to exit, press the enter button, and now you're back here in Windows. And that's where it is. This will automatically load up into the big box front end. Uh, once it's in the big box, it will automatically load up. So as soon as you turn on this PC with my remote switch, it is automatically set to run and turn on to big box. <clears throat> Loads directly into the front end. When you want to shut, let's, we'll do shutdown in a second, but and then we'll we'll continue on with the pricing. But like like I was discussing. Um, the price of this, the customer did not pay the price that I have listed on my website. I want to make everybody aware of that. We came up with this idea because the customer came up with this idea. I do this with all my customers. When we come up with new ideas, I will provide them a discount on what we're doing because it's going to be the first time they help me brainstorm it. And that's what we're, and that's what we came up with. So the customer's idea to do this 4k ultimate build and then use my 20 terabyte drive inside it um because he wanted to put he wanted it to be like the ultimate gaming pc he wanted it to be the most biggest and ultimate build he wanted it to be his end all is what it is he didn't want to have to go out and buy another arcade um unless you're using a racer of course um because there's no steering wheel on this but he wanted and there can't be a steering wheel on it either but he wanted this to be basically his end all and that's where the goal comes in for the Mega. The Mega is meant to be the end all. Any racing game that's on here, you use the controller to play. Any of them. Um, any arcade game that's on here, you use the arcade sticks to play. The four-way stick is for Dig Dug and Donkey Kong. It automatically plays with it. Um, trackball games play with trackball games. Light gun games play with light gun games. Spinner games play with spinner games. Flight stick games play with flight stick games. Um, it is an end all ultimate PC with enough room on it and enough technology inside it to where you're going to be playing games on this and you can download games that come out over the next 10 to 15 years and you can upgrade the PC as much as you need to with RAM, a new graphic card, and a new power supply. Obviously, sometimes the higher you go in graphic card, you need to make sure that the power supply you have will power that graphic card. But if you need to replace the power supply that's inside here, very easy to do. It just unplugs and plugs in. That's It's very easy to do that. But this Ryzen 5 6-core CPU inside this will be running games for a very, very long time. Simple as that. So um, <clears throat> to exit the system and shut down, you would click the Escape button, which takes you back to this menu. I call this the Options menu. You go all the way down to the bottom, and you click Shut Down. 
okay? You hit the enter button, it shuts down the entire computer and it shuts down, it shuts down the build. So as you can see, it's shutting it down right now. This is how the proper way to shut down. Um, and like I said, you can exit the window screen and you can get back to, um, what do you call it? You can exit the window screen and you can get back to Windows and you can play your Steam games from there. You can do everything else from there. And once you see no signal on your screen, you take the remote and you click the off button on the remote and then it shuts off the lights. The lights are separately powered. Everything runs through a power strip on the inside of this. So right now the computer is off, but the lights are still on. So you just hit the off button on the remote and it turns off the rest of the buttons. That's it guys. This is the Retro Lizard 4K Mega Pedestal. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. This is available on my website. It is under the pedestal collection, under the product collections, and it's also under my mega collections too. I also have four player full size mega PC or mega arcades. I have a 32 inch, which was what you see in front of you it is a two player mega. And then we all, this was upgraded to the mega, by the way, this originally two player wasn't going to be a mega. We upgraded it to the mega. And then we also have four player 43 inch full size megas. And that thing is a fucking beast, man. Um, you definitely, if you want to get it in the house, you need double doors to get it in, or it's going to be in your garage. So it's, it's huge. Probably weighs about 300 pounds. Um, it's about six and a half, seven feet tall. It's the biggest arcade that I can build. It is, it is a real mega. That's what it is. So <clears throat> thank you so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. My phone number is on the website too. My hours are 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern time. Those are my regular business hours. If we do have to schedule a login for any reason, I do have the business hours and then I can do evenings at scheduled times only between 8 and 11 p.m. If you contact me after hours, you will be responded to on the very next business day. Do not expect a response from me if you're messaging me directly or if you're sending me an email or calling me after business hours, especially at night. Um, I don't mind if you guys contact me in the evenings um, or at night, but do not expect me to answer and do not expect a response until the very next business day. If it's Saturday, you're not getting a response until Monday. So that's just how it works, guys. So I appreciate everybody's patience. I appreciate everybody's time and everybody's support. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. We still have this one to do. I have five racers in here that are that are being built. Two of them are done. Three more are being built. I have another mega pedestal coming. And then, of course, I have the new Time Crisis light gun that's being built, too. That's not a four-player, but it's the new cab. So thank you so much for watching, guys.